morning. I'm Liana Hassanel. Welcome to BizWorld. Bank Negara Malaysia, BNM, and the Bank of Thailand, BOT, today announced the further expansion of the Ringgit and Baht Settlement Framework, effective from December 1, 2021. In a joint statement, it said the latest framework includes an expansion of eligible users to include Malaysians and Thais who reside in either country, as well as additional foreign exchange policy flexibility, such as simplified documentation requirements. This is part of the continuous effort to facilitate wider use of local currencies for settlement of trade and direct investment between Malaysia and Thailand. It also said the expansion would provide greater accessibility to the ringgit baht denominated financial services for individuals as well as businesses in both countries. More than 1.3 billion ringgit worth of funding have been raised via equity crowdfunding, ECF, and peer-to-peer -peer or P2P financing to fund the needs of MSMEs since April last year. Sec Securities Commission Chairman Datuk Syed Zaid Albar said the country has witnessed how small businesses has been badly impacted after SMEs' share of GDP fell by 7.34% versus a 5.6% contraction in overall GDP last year. This is the first time in 17 years that SME GDP growth has been less than Malaysia's GDP growth. However, it is encouraging to see that equity crowdfunding or ECF and peer-to-peer -peer financing or P2P platforms have arisen to the challenge of supporting the funding needs of MSMEs. Since inception, ECF and P2P financing have aided close to 4,000 MSMEs. In addition, the Malaysia Co-Investment Fund, MyCIF, also gave investors confidence to continue investing through these alternative platforms. Thus far, private investors have provided three times the funding compared to the government's co-investments of over 260 million ringgit. The state cabinet has endorsed Sabah's first and largest nearshore liquefied natural gas LNG facility to be built by Petronas at the Sipitang Oil and Gas Industrial Park, Sogip. This was announced by Sabah Chief Minister Datuk Hajiji Noor on Tuesday, following a courtesy call by Secretary General of the International Trade and Industry Ministry Datuk Lokman Hakim Ali on Tuesday. Datuk Hajiji Noor said the project would be subject to the final investment decision next year. The nearshore LNG project is an outcome of a joint study between the state government and Petronas. This is to identify optimal gas monetization options to maximize long-term economic spin-offs that will benefit the people of Sabah. The new LNG plant is expected to increase total LNG production from 2.7 to 4.7 million tons per annum. Malindo Air's downsizing of its Malaysian fleet will have a spillover effect on local aviation players, eight years after it first disrupted the local industry by setting up operations here. According to Maybank Investment Bank research, with Malindo likely operating a reduced fleet going forward, Malaysia Airport's holdings will be the main loser via lower Malaysian passenger traffic. Meanwhile, the main winner will be Air Asia Group via higher average fares. Malindo has reduced its fleet from a high of 42 aircraft to 18 aircraft today. Since first quarter of last year, Malindo has transferred 17 aircraft to its sister Indonesian carriers, returned five aircraft to lessers and stored one aircraft. That's all the time we have for BizWorld. I'm Lena Hassanel. Thank you for watching and keep tuning in to TV Tiga.